another very important message regarding to what's happening in the grand space remember this month of july we are expecting disbursement and uh, comrade philip uh, is making his move towards achieving his uh, purpose which is grand disbursement so guys listen to what he said his move and uh, advice in the comment section what you think is the best way forward thank you very much and welcome to the update and subscribe one in grant community this is comrade philip the national president of justice for the masses movement um i come away today 12 of uh, july 2024 it's been a while now that i've been in the hair space but today i deem it fit to come around because of our partners our supporters and those that need to hear from us especially from the world press conference team our supporters that have contributed financially and also in prayers to help us out for the success of the World Press Conference. That is why I'm out today. For some time now, the grand ecosystem has been so silent. Uh, the silence may be in two ways. Number one, because people are tired of what is happening so far. Or number two, maybe uh, they have concluded that they need that silence for disbursement to come. And I want to tell us either of the two, if the needful is not done, if all the promises so far is not fulfilled, the day the silence will be broken, the grant handlers, the CEOs, and any other person that is concerned may not have it so easy because the masses are already tired. Uh, you cannot imagine the aggression of a boat that has been pushed, been beaten, pursued several times without stop. And it gets to a war, and there's nowhere to go again. This is war. As a barricade in front of him, definitely the goat also will be ready to die. And it will turn back to face it for sure. That is what may happen if all the promises so far is not fulfilled. I'm so sure of that. The press conference committee, we are silenced because we need to be silenced. Uh, we don't want any form of distraction from all our opponents, from those that did not want to hear the press conference. Uh, they have attacked us so much in different form, different dimension. They come in different form. From the beginning, they hear the World World Press Conference. And this attack on us has been a serious distraction. Attack to the first CID, attack in the name of incantation and different juju and uh, try to praise himself that I have power and so, 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 and everything. In which I have forgotten that all powers in heaven belong to God. They came also to attack us, to try to pollute, to adulterate the World, Confer the World Press Conference. Uh, Pascal Anya will come and say he have his own. Disguising as if he's on the side of the masses to protest against the non-disbursement, not knowing that he is working for a post to pen. All kind of attack, all kind of attack. And we have to be silenced because all these attacks is becoming a distraction for us, for us to be able to focus on what needs to be done. If you want to fight somebody, you don't make noise. 
you have to go into silence and to be able to fix all your strategy so that you will not disclose your movements into the enemy. It is so glaring in Grant's community that the, prayer, the World Press Conference have enemies, have enemies. Any move to show them or for them to prove that they are truly genuine, they attack it. If you are genuine, you don't need to prove it. You don't need to attack. You don't need to fight against it. All you need to do is to be happy to showcase yourself and that also we bring respect and we bring honor and everybody that are on your side that subscribe into your grant or whatsoever thing will believe you so much. It's an opportunity for you to gain more belief, more trust from the masses. But when you start attacking those that want you to come and showcase what is proved to have, it shows that something is wrong. Therefore, anyone that have brain that can reason very well you will know that these people have nothing to offer. That is the reason why they make every move against everyone that want to give them the opportunity to showcase and to prove themselves that they are real. You can see what is happening to Madame Temitope today. They are attacking her left, front and center just because she is giving them an opportunity to prove what they said they have. A child is supposed to know what is the reason why they are attacking. We are not babies again in grand community. It looks like the adults, the talisman powder they blow into the hair makes everybody's brain in grand community not to work. But some of us that refuse to be captured with the implotization of this talisman will become their enemy. Definitely it should be. That's just it. We don't care about that. I know for sure that um, um, this issue of palliative and the fight between UAAG and all grand pressure group is part of a strategy to have a soft landing between the two of them. They said they are palliative. Later now, the president of all grand pressure group came up and said, it is now the government project. From UAAG project to UAS project, from UAS project, now all ground pressure group project, now they are pushing it, the government project. If you can reason very well now, Master, you will know that they are going somewhere. You know you cannot fight the government. You know you can't question the government. If they can push it to be, to not be, uh, the, the grant stuff now in charge of government, you cannot say anything. And it will make you not to even look into their own side again. That's just the strategy. All these things they are talking about government committee, uh, grant community is a strategy. It's just a move for them to have a soft landing. Um, briefly, I want to talk about the problem and all this, I want to call it a competition, or let me use that word. I don't know superiority. I don't know what is happening between what I can call the uh, string pulling of strings. Yes, between uh, the elder statesman Reverend Agbechino and the Ma Madame Balogun Temitope. I believe Madame Balogun Temitope have already. Uh, discover or realize where she's missing it. With the status she has attained, she has assumed of recent. She's supposed not to come out to come and promote any grant handlers, no matter how genuine they prove themselves to be. Document is not enough to prove that you have grant again. Theophilus shows documents to the grant uh, agitator, and till today we don't have the disbursement. Many people are uh, giving, uh, are showing their document. We don't work with document. Justice for the masses. Show also the document, no matter how colorful it is, the level of signature, EMCC signature, finan Nigeria financial intelligence signature, presidency signature, all kind of uh, signature doesn't move us. Anybody can forge it and put it there. 
But the day they are caught, they will answer for it. We don't look at document. All we want to see is what you told us, your action matches with what you say you want to do. We watch you with a space of time when we notice that it doesn't match with what you promised the masses, then we fight against you. And that is why today, justice for the masses, and I myself, Comrade Philip, am not on the side of Apostle Ken again because of my little experience with him. He's not a straightforward person. Is the kind of person that will tell you something now. Go back to him in the next two hours. It will change the topic and it will twist everything. And you will be looking as if, ah, what is happening? Is it not the same man? I have just spoken this and it's sounding this way. Now that is my experience so, 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 so bad for a man of God. That's just for that. We don't look at document. Now she has made that mistakes of coming out maybe because of her inexperience. And because of the Z, they want, she came out and she has apologized openly. And you yourself, in the other statement, came up with your V note in which you expressed it very well. You encouraged her and you warned her and you corrected her very well. And I will not expect you again to further make a move to um also that would as you talk and to make some other, other other moves over her no she's not a kid we should respect each other elders should respect the younger ones this is what the the, the level of respect the elder one give to the younger one will be reciprocated by the younger one both should respect themselves please i don't expect this last v note to come and come and bring her that she has made a mistake me to myself I was highly disappointed when I heard the V notes where she was promoting the epic uh, organization. I was highly disappointed in her. Then I know in a quest to find the truth, I know definitely the truth, the truth will be fought. She may not be able to get that truth because of the people she is involved with. The chapter, the people, the uh, what was their name? The the human rights organization she involved, the channel they are going, these are the channel that covers the network of the grant and she want to get the truth from. Therefore, what do you expect her to get from there? She may not, because they cover all those places. They are network in the government, in the EFC, everywhere. She may not get it, we know. And we have told that from the beginning that when you are done with your own, if you like, it's a choice, join your forces with the press conference uh, team and let's do the work together. We appreciate all our effort, it's a giant effort, but the little mistake she made now, we should not crucify her for that. Sir, Reverend Ogbacheno, in your time during Tilbat, you have made a lot of mistakes as well. You have spoken in arrogance to both the young and the old. You have caused a lot of people, you rain causes like, like, like water on people at that time. Nobody come around, even though some revolted against you, but nobody crucified you. And today when you come out to ask for forgiveness, everybody accepted you back and nobody castigated you further. And even within this period that you yourself ask for apology, you have also made mistakes. You have also been with Epic and you learn from your past. You don't want to stick to one grand and lie. Immediately you find any error in them, you switch back. That is what your past mistake has taught you. Therefore, she too, she's learning. She should be encouraged. You're not supposed to finish her or castigate her or to bring her down in the public. That is not correct, sir. That is not correct. With due respect, sir, please, that is not correct. We respect you as an elder state person. You are old. And there are other people in the grant community that are older than you. Each person needs their own deserved respect. Thank you, sir. I want to believe that you will understand what I am saying uh, in the full sense of it. Thank you. Thank you very much. And I want to say this again to the masses. It's high time you take your destiny into your hand. No grant handlers anywhere have you in their mind. No matter how good or nice they prove to be in the public, all that matters is their own self. Their own first, you will be the last. Their own first, secondly, their own family, 
and you'll be the third person in line. Therefore, nobody can help you make your life better except you take a stand and believe in God that have the power to make your life better. Therefore, you need to take the bull by the horn. Don't some of you that are still expecting that money is coming from nowhere, this and that, they will soon disburse. Please put your mind off that. We don't say you should you should surrender. The fight continue, but face something that can better your life. Arrange yourself like what I'm doing presently, an NGO. We are organizing an online uh, platform for people that can undo anything online and make money. We are handling it for free of charge. And at the same time, the business uh, we, a cooperative, we are coming together to see the business we can do with small, small money. Those small, small money, when you put them together, become big money for us to do something reasonable and everybody have their own cause. And at the end of the day, from little, we grow into a bigger, bigger, bigger portion, a bigger size. And God respects every little beginning. Now, don't let us put our mind in these people and put our hope in this uh, grant of a stop anymore. These people are working for themselves. It is when they think about themselves, they are satisfied, think about their own family, they are okay, then they think about you. Therefore, the government they are talking about, I want to tell you, the government did not know that there is a particular community in the airspace on the Telegram platform in the WhatsApp platform called Grants Community. All the, the community they know is the community that is inside the Nigerian map. The president did, is not aware that there is a grant community, a community in the airspace created by some set of gladiators to collect money from them in the name of grant subscription. I can tell you that for free with my experience, with all the attack, with all the petitions and everywhere we have gone to, the same thing they are telling us. And through our investigation in press conference committee, we get to know this. I want to tell us, put your mind away from this, face something that can better your life Why you still put your mind to fight back on those that have damaged your life through their extension. Therefore, I'm so sure what anybody sows, definitely you are going to repeat, is a sure banker. You will repeat, your generation will repeat, many generations to come after you will repeat. The life you have destroyed, life that you have killed, definitely you will, you will repeat. That's why some people in the future, they say their children, they are dying anyhow. Because many people have died in the course of their death before they die, they've released cause. And many people that are pains, they are causing the people. The more they see the picture of these people on the social media, what they do, they cry agony, agonistically in their mind and bring cause on them frequently. Some people pick their picture on their altar, prayer altar, and be praying against them every day. And you not expect those people to end well. Never, it can never, it can never be so because the power of words, pronunciation is so strong. Therefore, masses, I want you to be serious with your life. I want you to take your life into your, into your hand and be ready to move. Don't expect free money from anywhere. Don't expect any free money from anywhere. We promise all the masses, we, the press conference committee, we will do justice. Our press conference platform, the supporters, we promise you your effort, your prayer, your financial contribution will not be in vain. Our silence is not because we want to go mute or we are running away from them. We are working assiduously every day to make sure we do what is needed to be done at the right time. And very soon we are going to come up. Everyone that have ever floated any grant in one capacity in this country, especially in this so-called grant community, that have floated money, grant, and you have collected money for subscription, either in the name of support or pledge or loan, whatsoever name you attach to it, you manipulate people's mind to collect it. We, the press conference, we answer for them. We promise you we are working under 
Our work is not just within this country, Nigeria. We're also working outside Nigeria. There are many times we know the government, because of one pressure or the other, they may want to forget something. But when that is where we notice that, we believe outside there we also help us to write the president or to write the country to intimate them on what is happening. There are many buttons that we are pressing presently. The press conference committee member we will not disappoint us. And I'm very sure our president in this nation, President Mohammed, uh, Ahmed Bola Tinubu, is not aware of all these things that is happening. I mean the extortion. They may, it may be briefed about grant, but what happened? The grant is briefed about it's, about, it's not about grant community. It's about the grant in Nigeria. He doesn't know. All these extortion, UAG somewhere, and this one somewhere, that one somewhere, and opposed to this somewhere, they, they, he did not know about it. I'm very sure, I'm telling every one of us that for free, he did not know about it and when the time come the press conference we help us out we sanitize the grants community and everybody we know will be happy and by the special grace of god through that the government may help us out to cushion the effects of the damage of what these people has caused we are not greedy the only thing they always tell us where, wherever we get to in any of our any place they petition us to, they will say, why is those people too so greedy? They don't know these people don't have money. Why would they pay for grants in Nigeria? We tell them, no, the people are not greedy in grants community. We have learned people. We have people that are, that are no book, that are highly educated, but they respect religion. When these people come in the name of religion, the name of God, in the name of this, we respect religion so much. And the Jews the platform of religion to capture both the learned, the literate, everybody fed into their victim. This is just about, at the end of the day, we believe that the government may, at the end of the day, compensate whosoever has been affected in one way or the other, other because our report will be details. We are piling the stories. And those grant analysts that are still using the opportunity of the silence to do some things, they are selling cap, they are still subscribing for their project in the name uh, of Polo Shirt and Cap. Even presently, the Polo Shirt is not even 10,000 again, it's now 12,000. They increase it. Those that get angry, that left, they, are want to, they still want to bring them back into it. You can see the highest level of wickedness. Therefore, all this is still happening. I want to tell us very soon, the press conference are waiting, watching all these things. We know what to do. We are also under authority. That is why we have to keep mute. We are still silent, waiting patiently for the real day. And I want to assure us the D-Day is very close. Everyone in this country that have handled grants, or you say you are a project handler, you have one project or the other you are handling, and you did not deliver or kick start on time or flag it up or start it and start running it before the press conference day, we will enlist your name among those we are going to submit in our report. It is very sure. There won't be any sentiment. That's just it. We won't, I won't say more than this. Masses, take your life into your hand. We have a plan for you. If you are interested, join the platform. Let's think on how we are going to put our hands together to help ourselves grow, to help our step and come back to our feet financially with the small I have, the small the other person have, the other one we have. Let's put it together and see what we can do to make it a bigger one. Let's put ourselves on the platform to be a donor to our own life, to our family, to our friends and our community, not into the hand of a greedy and wicked individuals. My name still remains Comrade Philip, the National President of Justice for the Masses Movement. Bye for now.